let your light shine bright. Let your light shine bright. All right, welcome back everybody to the Matrix Unveiled. Welcome back, guys. So, it's the end of the world. It's the apocalypse. It is the Kali Yuga. It's the changing of the cycles, the changing of the tides, the changing of one age of humanity into another age of humanity. This is a crazy, crazy, crazy time we're living in. And I wanna to talk to you today about a variety of different things. We're gonna be talking about the the jabs, as I'm gonna be calling it. We're gonna be talking about restrictions. We're gonna be talking about the influenza, as you may understand it. We're gonna be talking about the, you know, the plague, <laughs> as I'm gonna call it. Now I have to use all these different words to basically ascribe to the same meaning because of the way that YouTube works and the way that big tech works. Now, we can also talk about the censorship that's happening in this world. So, as you can see, it's almost as if there's a collaborative effort of a lot of different companies, a lot of different organizations, large, large organizations and governments to control you, to control your belief systems, to control the way you act, to control what you do in your life, your freedoms. Now they've recently rolled out this new thing, which is the, the, you know, the jab policy, which basically states that you need to get this jab, you need to get this medicine or this poison into your body in order to do certain things. And this is actually started to affect my life personally. So I've watched myself, I've watched, you know, I've watched this whole world shift in this last year. And I'm sure all of you guys have as well. You've watched and you've seen your rights being taken. You've seen people trying to control you, bully you, lock you down, keep you quarantined, keep you locked in a specific spot. Why? Why is this? There has to be a reason. It's really simple. Earth is going through a spiritual war. This is happening multidimensionally. We are not, this is not happening in the physical realm. The physical realm is just a it's just the medium in which we all see things happen and take place. But all the energies happen in these other dimensions. They happen above and within. In other spaces that are parallel, but also overlapped in this space right here. And as these energies start to manifest, they play along so in the physical. Now the physical is like this stage. It's kind of like if you go see a play, um, <clears throat> If you go see a play, all of the uh, all of the, the the actors and everything they're right in the the center of the stage, which is the physical. Okay, that's the stage, but you don't see all the special effects that are happening. You don't see all of the tight ropes that they're using and the you know the 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 different scenes and all these different things that are going on in the background to even make it as an illusion of a stage. You don't even realize that you're on a stage or that you're watching somebody on a stage. You forget. You get entranced into the movie or into the play that's the same thing that's the same way that this works you get so sucked into the physical you forget that there's actually something that's happening here multi-dimensionally so i woke up today and um i was expecting an email from my college my university which i am attending university or i was attending university and I was basically done. I had one semester left before I could graduate. One semester left, only about, you know, just a handful of credits that I needed to finish up to get my degree and be done. And I already disliked the school system. I already disliked the whole university system uh, because I, it, it's fraudulent. It's, it's all fake. It's, it's none, none of it's real. That None of the things that they teach in it are genuine. But that's for another video. I'll save that for another topic. But anyways, I basically had to request to be exempt from the jab, medicine, poison uh, mandate that they were basically ensuring people take. So everybody, according to my state, 
I don't know where it, where it's at, where you live or whatnot. Everybody was required to get this specific mandated poison in their body in order to go back to school, in order to go to their job, in order to take a shit <laughs> at this point, in order to go into a restaurant. You know, like this is where it's heading. I'm just, I'm just saying. They're, they're, they're cracking down, and what you see is. Sure, there's a lot of people that are taking it. These, this is what you would consider to be the people that are just really just asleep. And I, I hate to, to, to like put them all in one category, but if you don't see what's happening in the world right now, how awake are you? Even if you claim you're spiritual, I don't believe it. Because if you knew multidimensionally what this was, you wouldn't take it. You wouldn't put your, you wouldn't subject your astral body and your energetic body to this. Now, am I saying that you cannot overcome this and that once you take it, you're totally screwed? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not one to try to drink gasoline and see if I can survive from it. I'm not one to shoot myself in the foot and see if my foot grows back. Sure, maybe if you have some crazy spiritual powers, you chop your arm off, it may grow back or something like that, or you, you modify your DNA which is what this essentially does. It neuters your DNA, okay? It goes into the, your RNA and it starts messing with the codes. You're on my channel. You know I, I, I've talked about the codes many times. The codes, the matrix codes. These are ones and zeros. This is binary code. These are mathematical equations. These are energetic vibrations. These are frequencies that make up your auric field and your body. So here comes big government <laughs> saying, hey, everybody. All you need to do, we fixed the we fixed the pandemic. We fixed it. All you need to do is take this government approved vaccine. Oops. This is a government approved jab. And that will fix your DNA. That will fix you from this thing. But it also has all these crazy side effects. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to keep it on the DL, you know? Keep it on the DL. Keep it on the DL. We're not going to worry about that. We're just gonna give it to you and we're gonna say, hey, whatever, you're test subject number one. You know, I, I could go all into what the government really is and how Operation Paperclip with World War II, where they, they had a bunch of Nazi scientists, about over 1,600 Nazi scientists that came from, you know, Germany and started doing all kinds of crazy experiments on the American public and with, with technology. They still. They still are in the government, you know, they're, and it's, it's branched out from there, okay? I'm not here to attack them. I'm not here to attack that system. That's a losing battle. I understand that. But what I want you to, I want you to understand <clears throat> is that if you take this certain poison and you put it in your body and you think that you're doing the right thing because you're protecting other people from an infectious disease, understand a real infectious disease a real, real infectious disease would be littering bodies on the street like crazy, which is not happening. I haven't seen a single body yet, and I've been looking. <laughs> I've, been, I've been looking to see if I could find anything, and nothing has manifested, right? This is not the bu bubonic plague. If you don't know what the bubonic plague is, look that up. This is not the Spanish influenza where there was real death, where it's recorded. And it's not fake recorded where there's a bunch of people that are like, these statistics are not right. You're just making this up or you're, you're, you're falsifying the numbers. So their whole hoax falls apart in so many levels, yet so many people still believe it. The, you know, I would say, I wouldn't say it's the majority, but I would say it's a, a really close. It depends on where you are. Some people, there is a majority. In France right now, if you look in France, France is protesting the shit out of their government. They're on the streets, basically fighting their police because they know that their government is trying to roll out mandatory poison and they are not, they're not for it. They're not accepting of it. Americans, we haven't gotten to that point yet. The one thing that is different between France and America is that America is armed. <laughs> America carries around nine millimeters and shotguns like they carry around a ham sandwich. Okay, so we got weapons. So that's why, you know, 
the American government has, has kind of taken a different approach is they know that if they really do try to force, it will break out into a civil war. This is what we're on the cusp of. I'm not saying that this is going to happen. One second, I need to take a sip of my coffee. Hmm. I'm not going to, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but I am saying that look at the way the world is progressing. You're seeing a split in a divide of souls. You're seeing a split in a divide of, of humanity. You're seeing people either cling to the beast system, the beast system being this parasitical, big, big, tyrannical, infectious energy. That's what it is. This is all happening astrally. This is all happening non-physically. This is all happening multidimensionally. This is an entity that's rolling through, possessing minds, possessing ideas. It's the hive mind. So this hive mind, you see, takes over so many people's consciousness, so many people's minds, so many people's rights and freedoms. And they then want to infect others and convince others to join this hive mind. And then you have, you know, those spiritually sovereign beings. See, one of the things I want you to realize is that when you do take this thing, what happens is that it does modify your DNA, as you said, but this also affects your astral body. This takes away your life force. The way I see it, when I tune in, I can see, you know, certain things. If you, you're, I'm sure you're aware of this already. Um, I can remote view and stuff. So if I remote view, or if I just scan energetically what, what is happening, this is dark energy. This is neutralizing energy. This is energy that's meant to put you to sleep. It's meant to turn off your light codes. It's meant to make you more docile. So it's going to astrally neuter you. This is what I was talking about on my Facebook and, uh, you know, my mighty network, which I'm going to talk about that at the end. Um, cause there needs to be a place where you can talk and be free. So you have all these people that are trying to control you. And then you also have this system that is actually trying to spiritually control you. That's what it is. It's a spiritual control system. This turns off your intuition. It turns off of your, it turns off your, 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 your psychic abilities. It turns off your ability to, to raise your frequency and to tap into your gifts. This is why, and it also makes you sick. Let's not get it twisted. This is why there's so many people that are not tuned in to their energy because they have so much poison inside their and their blood and their, their DNA. So many poisonous metals, so many poisonous toxins. Okay. These kinds of toxins, you cannot get these kinds of toxins from drinking water or <laughs> eating a bad, you know, eating a cookie or something like that. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about like these heavy metals that you're injecting into your bloodstream and then into your very DNA. It's completely different. So before you come up with the argument that says like, oh, well, yeah, we have all this food that's unhealthy. Sure, food is a problem, but guess what? Your body is pretty dang smart. It will figure out how to evolve, especially if you're training with your energy. You're not gonna have to worry too much about your body falling apart or being overloaded by that kind of stuff. Only when you start really putting in arsenic and mercury and cadmium and lead and all of these these uh these heavy elements you know these are these uh these these elements that are not good for your brain this is neurotoxicity it, it, it's literally toxic for your brain when you start having these things and you start putting them inside of your body it starts to block your pineal gland it starts to damage your 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 endocrine system Okay, your thyroid, your thymus, America already suffers from so many health issues. This is just the nail in the coffin, literally the nail in the coffin. Okay, so you're going to have a bunch of sleeper sleepwalkers. People call them different names, but I, you have to realize, see, sure, there are humans. You have humans walking around, right? You see humans. They're all humans, but what makes them human has started to fade away. Sure, their body is human, but what makes a person human is actually their spirit. It's their soul. It's their essence. And when you start attacking that, and you start destroying that through all of the ways, through the programming, through the television, through the, the media, through the social media, through the, the big tech, through the false 
flag campaigns, through all of this stuff that's been going on for so many years, and then you add this final thing on top. That's the nail in the coffin, man. This is the nail in the coffin. This is the thing that's securing them. That's basically submitting. It's the mark of the beast. I do believe it was written in the Bible, mark of the beast. I'm not quoting the Bible as a reputable source, but there are some relevant elements. And so this is the apocalypse. This is the change and you're seeing the split of humanity in two different directions. Those that want to stick with this beast system and stick with this control grid and those that are wanting to be free and wanting to live their own purpose in their own life. You must choose, my friend. I feel like Morpheus right now. Red pill, blue pill. You must choose. All right, this is a perfect thumbnail, right? Red pill, blue pill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that in real quick before I post this. So you must choose where are you gonna fall on the spectrum. There's no more walking in the middle. I got, um, as I said before, I got an email today that was saying that I was basically denied for my, my jab exemption. And so I've realized, hey, I can't fight this anymore. I can't control this anymore. I can't make this happen the way that I want to. In fact, I don't even want it to happen. I don't want to make it happen. I'm at the point, and I suggest you all get to this point as well, where you just relinquish control over trying to manipulate things into your way or your ego's way because your spirit already has a path for you. It already has a direction that you need to go in. You don't need to follow this other path that's falsified, that's toxic and parasitical. That's not the way you should be living. You should trust your heart, your intuition, your source, your divine self, your light and your dark. Not these controllers, not these oppressors. We're on the pinnacle of a spiritual revolution that will change humanity and mankind. I can't say that some of these other people are going to be a part of it though. It does look like we may have two different species walking amongst us because really what's going to happen is our DNA, unvaxxed, uncontrolled DNA is going to slowly start to become rarer and rarer depending on you know how it goes. But we're, it, what's going to happen is the DNA is going to start to mutate so much. And once DNA, DNA is the building blocks of life. Once DNA starts to shift, in one way or another, recognize that is what makes a specific individual or specific being a specific species. This is basic biology and biochemistry 101. I'm not saying that their biology is right. You have to learn the true biology, which cannot be found in the school system. You have to research yourself. Self-study is one of the biggest things in my life. I spend most, time, most of my time studying, researching, meditating, learning, learning from the infinite, learning from the from the infinite universe and the cosmos because they're a damn well better teacher than any of my professors ever could be <laughs> and I'm sorry no I'm not sorry that's not even uh, a jab at you but you can't teach me better than the multi-dimensionals you can't teach me better than the force itself you can't <laughs> you can't it's impossible no human could contain so much knowledge so don't feel bad <laughs> But recognize this, this very thing, is that because our DNA is now changing, we have the light beings that are activating and turning on, really turning on. And then you have the ones that are just turning themselves off. They're, neut they're neutering themselves, as I've said many times. Neutering, it's like when you cut off the balls of, uh, of a dog because you don't want them to breed. That's the way I see it astrally. This neutering process that's happening energetically, it's to neuter their astral body. It's to make them more docile. It's to make them less powerful. Your light being is so powerful. Your light body is so powerful. So much energy is contained within your light body that when you learn how to activate it, everything responds to your electromagnetic interfer uh, interference. Right now I'm sitting here uh, recording this video and all of my lights are flickering. You may not be able to tell on the camera, but when, you know, when I turn my energy on, such as speaking or teaching or you know, whatever else I'm doing or training or meditating, all of the electromagnetic interference is, is felt. Okay, and that's the same for you. Now I, I've trained a lot and I've done a lot of work 
to develop that skill, but it's besides the point. So let's talk about this. What can you do and what should you do? You got to choose man or woman or whatever you identify with these days. That's another video. <laughs> That's for another video. You have to choose. How are you going to walk this path? Who are you going to choose with? Are you going to align with your divine self or the ego or fear or control? Are you going to trust in the universe and the higher powers that flew through you and all of creation? Or are you going to fall and succumb to fear? I want you to be aware that the direction that this is taking is almost like what happened in the Salem witch trials. Why do I say this? Well, I've had many, many astral experiences and I've seen many, many timelines and I've talked with other timeline jumpers, basically people that are in between worlds. They jump between worlds. I've spoken with them. There's some really intelligent beings. And once you pop out of your body, you learn how to do this consistent consistently. You can really talk with a lot of intelligent beings, a lot of really intelligent beings, humans, non-humans, etc., etc. So I've talked with non-human beings and humans. And this one dude told me, he's like, wow, your earth is really, <laughs> it's really behind on schedule here. It hasn't actually been like we were, we were censored a long time ago, bro. The fact that you could post YouTube videos about this, this is the conversation that I was having with this dude. He's like, the fact that you can post YouTube videos about this, and you don't have government coming to your door and trying to kill you uh, for being a, a, a magician or being a witch blows my mind. That's basically what he said. And he says, watch out because they, the AI will come for you. It will, uh, you know, observe you and basically try to uh, suppress you. So that is the direction I do feel that we are going. Now, what will happen? I'm not really sure because of the timelines and the way that timelines work, it's basically a guess, a guessing game because they're constantly rearranging themselves. If you could see it in the astral, it is literally like frame by frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. And it's like this one, this one, this one, this one, and you don't know which one's going to play out, but you can jump and see what, what's the most likely event. So these people know you're a magician. These people know you're a magi, a sorcerer, a wizard, a light being, a, a manifester of reality. They know your power. They know that they can't control you when you're in this state. If you're, if you're at the state of consciousness that I am and beyond, or even just beginning, you're already getting free. You're already broken free. You can't be controlled anymore. Okay. They cannot influence you. They don't have power over you at that point, but they can control the ones that haven't broken free out of the matrix. And that is the thing we must, Hold the light is the only real thing I could say. This is a spiritual war, my friends, and you must learn to hold the light. Okay, so let's recap real quick. Is the world going to end? No. What I do feel is that this system will collapse, though. That's what I genuinely do feel. Either it's going to be a split, like I'm talking about, where we have people that are just, you know, living in their own world and just basically sovereign creators. And then we have those that are just in the B system, in the parasitical system, in the, in the, the hen. So it's either the people that are free and living as they want to with the earth and the land. And then those that have basically completely enslaved themselves. That's the way that I see it happening. Now, those are the two extremes, but you see this system was built off of fear. This whole system, was built off of fear and control and manipulation. What was built off of fear and control and manipulation will never survive. It will never survive the test of time. Every single time, anything that's ever built off of fear, control or manipulation has always collapsed in on of itself. It's always fallen apart. That's just the way the universe is designed. All of the universes are designed. Fear and control can only hold for so long. There are lower vibratory energies. Eventually they will be uprooted. And when this happens, the beast will collapse. The system will collapse. The matrix, the human matrix, the parasitical grids, they will fall apart. Earth will be reborn. That will be the true apocalypse. 
the true unveiling, the true uh, manifestation of, of purity and, and new consciousness and new ability. Okay, so it's it going to be extremely powerful. We're going to witness this in our lives. We're going to see this happen. We are literally going to see this change in frequency, this change in the world. You get to be a frontliner. Now you choose, you get to choose individually, each one of you. You are a spark, you're a divine spark. Nobody controls your destiny but yourself. You are the harbinger of fate. You are the controller of your own fate. And you get to choose, are you going to be at the mercy of this system or are you going to become spiritually sovereign? Are you going to claim your right as a creator and become the divine seed that you are? So, one thing I want you to be aware of is that I do not talk uh, too much about metaphysical teachings on this channel. Like I, I have made a lot of videos on it, but I don't teach as much on here as I want to. This channel I want to basically use as a, it's also for teaching, but we're going to be talking about a lot more topics that are more important to the general mass of people because I feel that that is the way to reach the most amount of people and to help the most amount of people. Now, I also have a school of mysticism. My school of mysticism is my private school. It's my private community where you can enroll as a student, as a mystical adept member, where you literally become a student of these teachings, but not really, a student of yourself. And you get to go through my courses and connect with the community where community is, is growing. We're, we're almost at 80 or so members or so, something like that. You take a look at the courses, you take a look. I teach you how to activate your pineal gland. I teach you how to go through the spiritual awakening process. I teach you how to master your energy field. I teach you how to raise your consciousness and raise your vibration. I teach you how to find your life purpose. And you will learn how to develop your psychic abilities so you can never be impeded upon. You can never be controlled. You can never be manipulated. You can never be hurt. You can never be taken advantage of. You become the harbinger of your own fate. So my school of mysticism is what I designed for you, the seeker that is truly dedicated to this path. You're hearing these words, you're resonating with my message, you're resonating with my truth, and you want to learn, I invite you, my friend, to come join us at the school of mysticism and become a mystical adept. It's a monthly subscription, it's a monthly thing. Come in, check out the courses, check out the community, we're amazing. We're off big tech. We have something called a mighty network, which is basically uh, an, an individualized app. Okay, the link is in the description. It's gonna be the school of mysticism.mn.co. It's in the description. And you get to basically join our app, join the community, get access to live sessions with me monthly, and get access to literally thousands of hours of content, of, of insanely deep content. I teach you how to reprogram the matrix grids. Things that I could never teach on YouTube. I could never share on YouTube because of the public atmosphere that it is. Of the way it works. It's, it's just not acceptable for me to teach that on YouTube. So, that is my school of mysticism. I highly recommend you join if you are looking to deepen your connection. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Spiritual life coaching. If you're interested in my spiritual life coaching, go ahead and apply in the description below. Um, it's the matrixunveil.com. It's the matrixunveil.com slash coaching and I'm looking for uh, Several new clients that I'm gonna be working with for three months or six months or even a year So this is for long-term coaching one-on-one -on -one where I help you discover your life purpose and master yourself as well as I also offer solo metaphysical consultations. So if you're just looking for like an hour long time to speak with me an hour of my time and you need some help, you need some advice on, you know, whatever it is, metaphysically or even spiritually, or even if it's non-spiritual, um, if you need my advice, I also have a service for that as well. So I provided a lot of opportunities for people to reach out to me and to get my assistance and to work with me because I want to be available to the public. And if you have a question, just leave a question in either my school of mysticism or in the comments below. You know, I'm, I'm more inclined to check my school and to reply to all the comments there. I usually uh, get to everybody and you know, all my messages and stuff on there. On the social media apps, I'm not really too inclined to reply. It's, it's a lot of work. Uh, I don't have too much time to do that. But for my students, I'm always there for you. I'm always there to help you. I'm always there to share my knowledge with you 
and uh, to listen to you, what you may be going through and to give my assistance as best as I possibly can, okay? We're living in some crazy times, guys. We are living in some crazy, crazy times. I'll be honest. This is this is the weirdest time I've ever experienced. And you know, I wake up and I'm like, wow, this is this is real life. And I think it's only going to get weirder. I think it's only going to get more extreme. And what we got to do is we got to remain strong as a society, as as individuals. You know, you have to choose. What do you want to support in your life? Do you want to support truth or falsehood? If you know deep in your heart that this this thing is going to harm you. Why would you do it? If you know deeply in your heart that people are trying to oppress you and control you, why would you fall in line with that? Stand up for yourself. Don't let these bullies control you. Their time is over. This is a new epoch. A new time, okay? The harmonic convergence or the convergence of energy is coming very soon. And we will receive a, a metaphysical and magical boost. Everyone's abilities will be skyrocketed. Everyone's connection to spirit will increase dramatically as this event comes closer, as we come closer to um, a reset, okay? And it will happen. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for listening to this video. I want to let you know to subscribe and to like the video and to share this video with those that you may think would receive this message. And even those that won't, because we need to start awakening minds. We need to start raising the consciousness. We need to start putting this message out there and sharing it to people. And finally, if you are really looking to learn magic, if you're really looking to learn energy and metaphysics, my school of mysticism is for you. So I thank you so much. I love you. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.